Hey guys, happy Friday. It's operations time over here. Guess what? I was thinking, what are we gonna do this Friday? And then uh, I was having so much fun running these uh, Santa Fe units over here that I thought we'd uh, have a little fun, run the uh, SD40 down towards Huntington Beach. We'd take a couple gondolas with us and maybe do a quick switcheroo down there in the uh, SoCal Edison facility. That's my switchback industry right there. We gotta, we gotta pick up over there and we have a, uh, a respot. So there's a car down there that we dropped off a little while back. It was a tank car. Uh, we just need to swap those two around. So it's a pretty, pretty quick, uh, you know, endeavor there. But it should be a little bit of fun. So uh, I've got uh, the locomotive fired up right here. We got uh, we got the whole crew on board there. Engineer Rick. We got Benjamin up front. We got uh, Mr. Uh, Torres there and uh, Mr. Sanford. Gonna go check out his old homestead there, sitting in the back. So uh, let's get moving over here. The first thing we got to do, we got to do a little bit of a, well, we got to do a little bit of stuff over here. Number one, I got to figure out how to use my new tripod over here. So I, I picked up a, uh, picked up one of these goofy tripods to do uh, uh, videos with, uh, you know, other stuff here. And uh, it says, so you have to excuse my, uh, you know, if it's a little cockeyed here and there, because I'm still getting used to this. Uh, it's one of these mini tripods. Let's see here. Now you gotta do like four things at once right here. Let's get, uh, get our track switched over here and here. And uh, let me go ahead and try to put this tripod down way down over here there we go Oof. oh my goodness it's a little bit taller than the uh than the other one that comes with the camera but uh it's got like the flexible legs you know that you can kind of wrap around trees and all that kind of goofy stuff but anyway what i was going to say here is the first thing we're going to do is get rid of these two uh lumber cars because uh, we're not doing that we're not taking them with us so we're gonna go ahead and move uh, I don't know we're gonna move them to some other track and uh, we're just taking the two gondolas with us I think I think that's good Yeah, I can do this. Uh, there we go. Give you a better view here. Hopefully, it's not too shaky. I mean, heck, I guess we could do that. We could do the lumber cars, but we always do those lumber cars. We don't want to go all the way down to Huntington Beach, even though technically we're kind of going all the way down there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I was really hoping to just do. The uh, just do the uh, the SoCal Edison facility. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're, so we're gonna get rid of these uh, lumber cars here. We'll pull forward just a little bit. Already just got them disconnected there. So we'll we'll drop them off on uh, I don't know track uh, track one. You know that's our run around. We'll let the uh, we'll let the yard consist guys worry about it there. I could tell already it's gonna take me a little second here <laughs> to get used to this camera. Ah, Engineer Rick. Oh my goodness. Or not get used to the camera, get used to this uh <laughs> get used to this tripod. Um I actually didn't get it for doing videos here. I I did it, I got it for doing videos on my other channels. And uh because <laughs> I don't really need it for uh you know my videos here it's it's a, it's i think it's like i don't know it's about 12 inches high or so got the little goofy uh sort of uh, uh flexible legs not the ball type but sort of more like the uh i don't know like they look like, like these rubber uh rubberized legs anyway oh yeah yeah thank goodness it's friday all right, we'll drop these guys off. We'll grab our gondolas, and we uh, we shall be on our way here. 
Let the, let's see if I can reposition here. The head on the on this uh, little tripod deal, uh, you know, can swivel like uh, you know 360 degrees and everything like that. And I'm trying to keep it uh, trying to keep it level, uh, you know, wherever I place it. And so I got to keep it kind of loose on its uh, little sort of ball swivel, <laughs> but a little bit too loose, and apparently it just flops over. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. So it's gonna be kind of weird, um, but hey, that's what we do over here. And by weird, I mean uh, we're doing uh, two gondolas and a tank car, and we're not gonna take a buffer car or anything like that. That's, uh, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, Cause, actually, I'm looking over there at uh, Sanford and Son, and there's currently a box car and a, a uh, gondola in the industry, so uh, we can use the box car will be our buffer, so we're good to go over there. And let's see if I can do this without flopping the camera over. And I can tell I'm already touching, touching things here. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Holy smokes. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap my camera back to the back to the regular uh, tripod here. All right, there we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh my goodness! And here's that little tripod thing I was telling you about. That's got these uh, little got the little swivel head up on top, so you can kind of uh, move it all around and everything like that. But uh, when I pick it up, I keep hitting that little knob right there that uh, tightens it and and whatnot. And uh, the legs are kind of flexible, so you can just twist them any which way into like like spaghetti. And, and again, but you can see it's a little bit taller than uh, than I need over here for the uh, for the layout. It's for my other channels. They're doing doing other stuff. Anyway, whew, enough talk about that. Let's uh, let's head down to Westminster. We've got to figure this out once we get uh, get across our uh, lift up bridge here. Notch it up there, Engineer Rick. Let's go. And as always, hope everybody's having a good uh, good week so far. Gonna have a good weekend. Uh, let's see here. Just checking my turnout back here. Yep, we're good there. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print, uh, not print, you know, I'm gonna have printed uh, new backgrounds over here, especially right there where it got the, I tried to do that spray glue on the paper there and uh, it didn't work very well. Got all wrinkly and everything like that. But, you know, what I do, what I do now. Oh my goodness, come on, get past the bad section. think so I'm powered up Ooh, we got a little engine trouble here or something uh, let's see here let's pause and I'll figure it out all right got it figured out there yeah you know what it is I got a couple little drops underneath there that are uh, eh, you know cold weather they get a little funky they get a little loose there I use those suit suitcase connectors down there I think I just gotta I gotta kind of redo that and just get rid of the the ones over here for some reason uh, there's like there's one uh, part of the track there. That track right there on the curve is isolated, and uh, it uh, it does uh, get uh, powered. But uh, yeah, I get those suitcase connectors. I don't know. Got a little loose wire when it gets a little cold. You know, a little temperature fluctuation. That's kind of goofy. Uh, but the, yeah, that probably just needs a replacement over there, or like I said, just uh, just do a quick solder job. Anyway, whew. Boy, this is, uh, this is getting to be uh, a little bit of a funky video. <laughs> we got weird dry pods. We got uh, we got some track uh, issues, but that's uh, that's the real world of model railroading. 
All right, so let's get across the street here. We love that horn. Looking good. All right, so now then, let's take a quick gander over here at uh, Sanford and Son Salvage. And as you can see, we have got... Uh, well, it's actually supposed to be a full gondola and a uh, box car there that we're taking. But the first thing we're gonna do as we kinda honk for the horses over there, I thought we would come over here and do this little switcheroo right here. This guy here got uh, got dropped off way back a couple videos back. Uh, we didn't actually switch him. He's supposed to get switched out with that guy right there. But, uh, I don't know, we ran out of time or something like that. We didn't want to do it. Or I, I said, we, <laughs> like you and me both decided this. No, I didn't want to do it at the time. So I just left them there, we can do it on another train and this is the train we're doing it on. But uh, we got those two gondolas right there, but I think we're gonna take them with us down this way. Cause uh, this is a pretty easy kind of in and out, in and out, run around, come back up. So we do got to stop over here. And uh, switch our track. I don't know what the heck I'm hitting underneath me here. All right, looking good. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? While we're over here, <laughs> there's one little thing inside of that uh, gondola right there, which is a little funny. Now, this is what I do. So when I switch my gondolas, I have, uh, somebody actually mentioned it before, and uh, yeah, it's exactly what I do. It's a piece of, uh, just a piece of little foam board bunch of junk on top of it you know pick your stuff I got a lot of model kits there any armor modelers there uh, you might uh, you know you might see a few things in there you see uh, you know so any of my model kits I just put stuff in there weather all up paint it all up and uh, then we can slide it into place and there we go we got a full gondola uh, the other thing if you're uh, not a modeler and you don't have extra pieces a little bit of a uh, little bit of tin foil with some uh, you know my dirty paint water goes a long way to make it look like a uh, a gondola full of uh, full of recycled stuff. See, look at that scrap metal. That's my that's my, that's my tip for uh, for today. <laughs> that is your cheapest. I'm pretty sure. Uh, gondola load you can make that uh, literally it's just a piece of aluminum foil along like this stuff right here and uh you know i just dirtied it up i had some dirty paint water or something you know I, you know and just slathered it in uh, on there to kind of you know dirty it up a little bit good stuff Ooh, what's going on over here now uh when i was doing the backgrounds over here I must have knocked over some bushes and stuff like that. Because that one probably goes in here somewhere. I don't know. We'll stick them right there for now. All right, so the plan here, basically just come down the line. And luckily, uh, we're not doing any switching back over here. It's just a quick uh, trail and spur in effect here. Uh, but uh, we're, we're just swapping those two cars, taking the tank car with us. Boy, this video is getting longer than I thought, huh? I think. At least if I'm judging by my battery on my uh, my camera. Oh, I was screwing around with the track and then the tripod. That's what it is. Okay. Anyway, we'll run down here and do a quick uh, in and out, in and out kind of thing over there, and then a quick run around, and then back up to drop these two gondolas off. Now let's see, are we going to fit in here between the uh, industry spur and the street? Yep. So we don't have to honk the horn here. Right, up right there is good. Look at that. Ooh, Lance! He's over there having fun with the girls. Getting some lunch, getting some fish tacos, I should say. Getting, getting a breakfast burrito, maybe. That's what it is. Oh man, we got to find Carl, too. Where's he at? Carl, the industry rep over here, has to come over here to remove our blue flag. 
right there. Alright, and yep, we got that switched. Let me go ahead and uh, we're going to sit this down right here. How's that? And let's see here. So we got to pick up this uh, tank car right there uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, now he's the one that's getting dropped off and repositioned. There's one behind us here, behind the camera that is, that's the actual pickup. So we're going to grab this one and then keep on shoving and grab the second one. Ooh, hold on. There we go. We got him. Grab that guy. Now we're going to have to pull that guy out of the industry. And then drop him off. Ooh, right there. Ooh, oh, he's all the way over there at the stops underneath the bridge. Let me uh, reposition my hand here. Holy smoke, so I can keep that camera steady. Alright, let's pull it on out. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, we're good. We'll drop this guy off. Now we are going to have to uh, go into the street over there. Uh, now this little section of my uh, layout here, different little spots, you know, you get uh, you know you get a little ups and downs. Nothing's ever perfectly level. And uh, this little part right there was actually added on after the fact because I wanted a little bit of extra track right there. And uh, what I did because it's at a sort of car center roll down hill over here. A little static grass right there to hold on to the uh, hold on to the underside of the uh, the wheel set. Set you someplace you can see something. All right, here we go. How's that? I always like doing these funky camera angles. Uh, let's see here. All right. Drop that uh, tank car off. You know, sometimes I say tank car, box cart, and I make a mistake. And afterwards, when I'm kind of like double checking the video, I realize I, I called it tank car a box car or a, a box car a, a tank car or something like that so if I do that good just excuse me it's just uh, my mind not working all right here we go we'll come forward again enough bell all right so a little bit of a big picture right here there we go we're just shoving that guy all the way back into our little uh well industry within an industry here you know how it is the more industries you got the more uh switching you got the more uh, little car spots you got so this little industry socal edison uh all you old timers know all about it but for you new guys it's uh southern california edison it's our local uh electric company down here in uh, Southern California and this is modeled oh uh, 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 we're modeling the real world sort of industry here down on this line in Westminster California uh, just north of Huntington Beach and we let's just get that guy right there on that that little grassy part right there's good all right and uh, so it actually is, in real life, a switchback. And uh, so what this uh, industry is, like I said, it's our electric company. And this uh, little uh, property, they make uh, transformers. So all those transformers, you know, you up on the power poles and all that. 
that's what they make over here which is why I got one big giant transformer over here and uh, some uh, forever unpainted uh, <laughs> coils <laughs> all right here we go now what are we gonna do pull on out of here that was quick enough and easy enough we'll pull out of here uh, connect back up to our tank car then we're gonna do a quick run around here and then head off to do our two uh, gondolas right here. Uh, but, oh yeah, what was I gonna say? But anyway, so uh, yeah, you're asking, well, so what's this tank car doing over there? Well, um, right there is good and stop getting distracted. Finish the story there, Engineer Rick. Ooh, sorry. Um, so, well, I get that tanker over there, so I figured, hey, you know what? There's these little oil, uh, you know, pumps everywhere all over Southern California. Why don't we just make believe like we got one over here inside of the industry, you know? And we get uh, get some uh, crude oil there getting pumped up, you know, Texas tea, all that stuff, Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm babbling, I know. And uh, anyway, so I figured, hey, look it, we can have an industry within an industry, and all it is is, well, it's just a pump with a couple of silos, and when, you know, whatever. We get tank cars now. We can get uh, crude oil tank cars. All right, there we go, that's good. Uh, Carl can put his blue flag back over there and get back to uh, drinking whenever he's drinking over there. We're disconnected. Let's get our run around done over here. And there we go. There we, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to keep doing a run around here. I'm going to do a quick battery swap. So uh, he might be a little bit farther up the line when you guys get back. All right. We didn't get too far. So good enough. We'll do our uh, do our quick run around over here. Low for the little kitties on the dumpster. Benjamin, leave him alone. Benjamin's barking at the cats on the dumpster. Bark, bark. <laughs> I know. All right, I'm getting a little wacky here. What can I say? It's kind of early in the morning still, and uh, I haven't had all my coffee. Anyway, yeah, a lot of babbling on over here, as usual. I like to talk a lot. But uh, yeah, my little industry within an industry. Lots of car spots. The more little little things like that, you know, you just might have a, I don't know, a little, little section of track someplace that, uh, you know, uh, you can just kind of make believe it's uh you know it's almost like uh, what do you call those uh, places there's a uh, team track or something you know it might just be a little little tiny spur someplace but uh hey that's another spot you can uh switch out and the fun thing is when uh you kind of mix it up with another industry that's when it gets even more complicated so you know you gotta you gotta take you gotta take everything into account here. See, like this uh, this little uh, the deal that we're doing here. We had to do this little tank carb before we can head all, all the way back up here and uh, just uh, swap out a couple cars over there at uh, SoCal Edison. There would be some crud on my track right there. Um, so when I was putting up the background over there, I had to climb through here and you know kind of get it glued up and cut over there and everything like that. And I think I knocked over some stuff there for the uh, on, onto the track, so I gotta do a little cleanup right there really quick. All right, whew, enough uh, enough shaky camera. Let's put it down there for a sec. I'm just a plethora of uh, model railroading tips here, huh? Aluminum foil for gondola loads. Uh, little empty car spots for whatever for an extra industry all right there we go we got all our cars let's get the heck out of here 
And like I said, I know we got a full tank car next to the locomotive. You know, hey, you know, we'll figure it out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rectify that over at the next industry. So I'm sure there's a you know there's always a, some little uh, caveat right there where you know it's a. I kind of read in different uh, you know railroad manuals there. Watch out, weirdos. That, uh, you know, you can uh, move a car around if you need to do it to do your switching kind of thing. You can have that, uh, you know, you don't have to have a buffer car necessarily right there. And uh, that's what we're doing here. Because we're just coming up the road here a little bit, uh, you know, even though uh, in real life it's uh, quite a ways. But, uh, hey, uh, and we kind of make believe like it's quite a ways when uh, it suits us. Alright, so now then... We're going to be picking up our uh, two uh, cars right here, the gondola with the aluminum foil load and uh, the uh, box car, but uh, we do want to have a buffer car, so what we're going to do is just disconnect completely from our uh, locomotive there, with all our cars. We'll run in there, we'll do our pickups first. There we go. Here's where I wish I had a tripod that could sit like right here and <laughs> get a better, better, better look at the action here. But it's kind of hard to do that, and uh, uh, with only two hands. This crazy little uh, switching operation is almost over. Let's see, did we get enough room? Yes, we did there. It's a little tight right there. Next to the, uh... Next to the turnout. Um, but, of course... <sighs> I always have to have that stupid uh, power pole right there, so I gotta kinda watch out where I, uh, leave cars right there. So I leave enough room, I can, uh, get in there and, uh... You know, disconnect them here. Alright, I did a little bit of... I don't know, one foot? Perfect. Beautiful there, Engineer Rick. And uh, the guy's in the back. Hey, how's it going? You know, Mr. Stanford over there, him and his dad, they used to own this place. Little, little tiny shop they had over here. Turned out to be uh, some Stanford and Son Salvage. Nice big uh, industry here. His dad, he retired and uh, moved to Hawaii. Mr. Stanford there, uh, our Mr. Stanford. He decided to become a conductor. Joined, uh, well, he joined the Union Pacific, so I don't know what, uh, maybe we got that way. This is a, mm, don't mind the Santa Fe. <laughs> Whatever. He joined the railroad to become a conductor. Yeah, that's the story we got. Ooh, right there is good. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to one hand this without having to put the camera down. There we go. Every time I do that, my lanyard tends to get tied up on my my barbed wire fencing. And I know it's not barbed wire, it's concertina wire or something. Alright, here we go. This is what we're going to do now. We'll come in here. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we'll just drop our two gondolas off. Yeah, we got them there, Engineer Rick. Other way. Break off there, Engineer Rick. Goodness sakes, where's my coffee? Now let's see, I think we're gonna have to run into the street over here. And yeah, by a car. I always put the camera down here. Right about there is good. Because, <laughs> see, you don't see the big barren spot back there. That's kind of why I'm always like, hey, look at that. You can like, uh, see the scene this way. All right. 
It's all uh, smoke and mirrors over here at the uh, SoCal. I almost said SoCal Model Railroad. <laughs> SoCal Scale Models. I don't know what my channel is called. Holy smokes! I got too many, uh, too many channels. Hey, it's always fun to have a little bit of fun, huh? I mean, uh, that's kind of what we do here, right? That's the whole purpose of all this stuff. One of these days, I'm going to finish my fencing over here. So uh, kind of right there, that fence is supposed to continue across the uh, tracks. I have a little uh, gate right there and then kind of, you know, continue all the way down around towards around the, the bridge or towards the bridge there. I just haven't gotten around to it because it's one of the uh, list of 20 million things I have to do. Ay, ay, ay. Good thing I retired early, man. I'm going to need it. And just a little bit more there, a little bit more, and that's good right there. All right. We'll get disconnected here. We'll pull forward just a little bit. Brakes off. Let's get on out of here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my goodness, Benjamin. Benjamin, get back here. Oh my goodness, all right. Guys, uh, I've got a little chaos over here. I think we're just gonna shut down right here. And uh, I just take a little breather over here. Oh boy, we got Benjamin over here. He wanted to go check out the, the horsey there that was Mr. Uh, Ronald Reagan there. And uh, and then, uh, you know, oh boy, you know uh, Torres over there. He's playing with the horses over there. And while we're hanging out over here, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sanford running across the street there to check out his old uh, homestead. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, little crazy, wacky, wild world of uh, switching them over here at the SoCal, uh, whatever the heck my channel's called. And uh, guys, till next time, have a good one. Um, it's always fun to have some fun over here with you guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, all that good stuff. Go in the description over there. I got links to my other YouTube channels you can check out uh, at your leisure if you want to. Otherwise, I will see you back here for a little crazy chaos next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Ah.